Well, new this evening, the goal to bring more affordable housing to Columbus continues in the neighborhoods across the city. As the city of Columbus continues to grow and address the housing affordability crisis, more creative methods to solve the issue are in the works. TNTV's Kristen McFarland gives us an up-close look at the first 3D printed home underway in Columbus, and she has more on how this could affect the housing market. I spoke to the contractor in charge of 3D printing this home here in Linden. He says he hopes it changes the way houses are built and brings more affordable housing to Columbus. Layer by layer, a large machine pushes a concrete mix out following the shape of a home. So for them to pick Columbus to do it, can't get no better than that. For the first time ever in Columbus, Ohio, a 3D printer is on scene to build a home. Right across the street from it, we get to see everything firsthand. We get to meet the people that built it. Mayo McKinde, an Ohio contractor in collaboration with the city, is in charge of building this Linden home. McKinde says 3D printing has many benefits compared to the normal process of building a home. Less cost, less material, uh, less manpower. The material is also equipped to withstand weather conditions, says McKinde. The city is looking forward to integrating the new technology to help create more affordable homes. Looking at places like Austin, Texas, where they've done a lot of this type of work, we believe that this is an opportunity to stand things up quickly at a very cost-effective way. This is one of the areas that needs a lot of help with housing affordability, and we've seen these prices skyrocket, you know, in the last couple of years. Instead of 30 people building a home in one to two months, McKinde says using the 3D printer, the structure can be built within one week using only four people. Awesome, because it's new. It's history. While the industry is still relatively new, contractors say house pricing should go down significantly. We can estimate about $150,000 $200,000 for something between a 850 square footage house like this to about 1,200 square footage. This home is slated to be completed by the end of August or September. In Columbus, Krista McFarland, 10TV News.